Good morning and welcome to the fourth Sunday of Advent to Morning Prayer. And this morning we dedicate morning prayer for each one of you who have joined with us and also for dear sister Sue's family, friends and members, Marilyn, um, Julie, Helen and Lee. But we remember all Franciscans of different persuasions within the Christian and non-Christian family and that they will unite and support us for Doves for Peace in 2016. So we begin by lighting a candle for Franciscan unity and peace. In the name of our Father, Mother God, who creates life. In the name of their Son, Jesus the Christ, who, is, who loves life. In the name of the Spirit, who is the fire of life. In the name of all faith traditions and none, for they too are the children of God, albeit known by a different name. And on behalf of all my brothers and sisters in the Teo community, I welcome you to this time of celebration. And now for the Divine Office of Lords. Bear with me. My bravery is so old, it's tearing apart like myself. The Lord is at hand, come let us adore him. O oh God, come to my aid, O oh Lord, make haste and help me. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And our hymn this morning, the co-eternal Son, a maiden's offspring see, a servant form Christ put it on, to set his people free. Daughter of Sion, rise, to greet thine infant king, nor let thy stubborn heart despise the pardon he doth bring. Let deeds of darkness fly before the approaching morn, for unto sin tis ours to die and serve the virgin born. Our joyful praises sing to Christ that set us free, like tribute to the Father bring, and Holy Spirit to thee. And our first antiphon this Sunday morning, sound the trumpet in Zion, for the Lord is near. See, he will come to save us. Alleluia. And our first reading is Psalm 117, and the theme of our psalm, Song of Rejoicing in Salvation. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his love endures forever. Let the sons of Israel say, his love endures forever. Let the sons of Aaron say, his love endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, his love endures forever. I called to the Lord in my distress. He answered and freed me. The Lord is at my side, I do not fear. What can man do against me? The Lord is at my side as my helper. I shall look down on my foes. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in men. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. The nations all encompassed me. In the Lord's name, I crushed them. They compassed me, compassed me about. In the Lord's name, I crushed them. They blazed like a fire among thorns. In the Lord's name, I crushed them. I was hard pressed and was falling, but the Lord came to help me. The Lord is my strength and my song. He is my savior. There are shouts of joy and victory in the tents of the just. The Lord's right hand has triumphed. His right hand has raised me. The Lord's right hand has triumphed. I shall not die, I shall live and recount his deeds. I was punished. I was punished by the Lord, but not doomed to die. Open to me the gates of holiness. I will enter and give thanks. This is the Lord's own gate, where the just may enter. I will thank you, for you have answered, and you are my saviour. 
the stones which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. This is a, the work of the Lord, a marvel in our eyes. This day was made by the Lord, we rejoice and are glad. O Lord, grant salvation. O Lord, grant success. Blessed in the name of the Lord is he who comes. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord God is our light. Go forward in procession with branches, even to the altar. You are my God and I thank you. My God, I praise you. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good, for his love endures forever. And now we pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Sound the trumpet in Zion, for the Lord is near. See, he will come to save us. Alleluia. And the second antiphon, the Lord comes. Go to meet him and say, Great is his reign, and his kingdom will have no end. He is God, the strong one, the ruler of the world, the prince of peace. Alleluia. And our second reading is a cantical reading from the prophet Daniel. And the theme of our reading, let every creature praise the Lord. You are blessed, Lord God of our fathers, to you, Glory and praise forevermore. Bless your glorious and holy name. To you glory and praise forevermore. You are blessed in the temple of your glory. To you glory and praise forevermore. You are blessed to gaze into the depths. To you glory and praise forevermore. You are blessed in the firmament of heaven. To you glory and praise forevermore. You who walk on the wings of the wind, to you glory and praise forevermore. May they bless you, the saints and the angels, to you glory and praise forevermore. From the heavens, the earth and the sea, to you glory and praise forevermore. You are blessed, Lord God of our fathers, to you glory and praise forevermore. And now we pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord comes. Go to meet him and say, Great is his reign, and his kingdom will have no end. He is God, the strong one, the ruler of the world the Prince of Peace. Alleluia. And the third antiphon, your all-powerful word, Lord, will come from the royal throne. Alleluia. And our final psalm is Psalm 150, and the theme of this psalm is Praise the Lord. Praise God in his holy place. Praise him in his mighty heavens. Praise him for his powerful deeds. Praise his surpassing greatness. O oh, praise him with sound of trumpet. Praise him with lute and harp. Praise him with timbrel and dance. Praise him with strings and pipes. O oh, praise him with resounding cymbals. Praise him with the clashing of cymbals. Let everything that lives and that breeds give praise to the Lord. Glory be to the Father, Mother, God to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end, amen. Your all-powerful word, Lord, will come from the royal throne, alleluia. And now our scripture reading is from the book of Genesis, chapter 49, verse 10. Judah shall not want a branch from its stem, a prince drawn from his stock, until the day when he comes, who is to be sent to us, he the hope of all the nations. This is the word of the Lord. 
thanks be to God. And our short response read, The glory of the Lord will shine on you, Jerusalem. Like the sun, he will rise over you. The glory of the Lord will shine on you, Jerusalem. Like the sun, he will rise over you. His glory will appear in your midst. The glory of the Lord will shine on you, Jerusalem. Like the sun, he will rise over you. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God. The glory of the Lord will shine on you, Jerusalem, like the sun, he will rise over you. And the Benedictus Antiphon, the angel Gabriel was sent to the Virgin Mary, who was betrothed to Joseph. And now, my dear brothers and sisters, I invite you to join me for the Canticle of Zechariah. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and he has redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior in the house of David his servant, as he promised through his prophets from of old, a Savior who would free us from our sin, from the hands of all our enemies. So his love for our fathers is revealed and his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham our father to grant us that free from fear and safe from the hands of our enemies, that we might serve him in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence. And as for you, little child, you shall become a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go before the Lord to prepare his ways before him to make known to his people their salvation through forgiveness of their sin and the loving kindness of the heart of our God, who visits us like the dawn from on high, and he will give light to those who sit in darkness and those who dwell in the shadow of death. He will guide them to the way of peace. We pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And now we repeat the morning Benedictus Antiphon. The angel Gabriel was sent to the Virgin Mary, who was betrothed to Joseph. And now we come to our morning intercessions. It is time for us to wake from sleep. The day of our salvation is near, and the response, Lord, may your kingdom come. And we repeat, Lord, may your kingdom come. Help us to show our repentance by a new way of living. Response, Lord, may your kingdom come. Prepare us for the coming of your word by opening our hearts to receive him. Response, Lord, May your kingdom come. Help us today to overcome our pride and raise us from the depths of our weakness. Response, Lord, may your kingdom come. Throw down the walls of hatred between nations. Clear the way for those who work for peace. Response, Lord, may your kingdom come. And we bring to you, Father, Mother God, in the presence of Francis and Claire of Assisi, all the men and women who've given their lives as Franciscans, both within the Christian family and outside of the Christian family. We pray that in the coming days that we will rally and unite and become one voice for the marginalized, that we will communicate together that we will share the gifts that we have received from God as one Franciscan family. Response, Lord, may your kingdom come. And now for a moment or two in silence, let us be still for we are in the presence of God. And if anything is troubling us or worrying us, let us name it, bless it and release it to God with a mindset of gratitude and just conclude with the three-worded all-powerful prayer. Thank you, God. This morning, 
I remember our dear sister Sue and all her family, especially, especially Marilyn, who has become confused and is now receiving palliative care. We pray for Julie, Helen and Lee, and for her family. We remember this morning our dear sister Sue's dear friend Paul and his son Ben. And we mustn't forget James, who's had a pretty rough year with bad health, but now is on the road to recovery. And we pray for James and for all who are living with depression especially at this time of year, where many are on their own, where many have lost loved ones, and Christmas is not a joy-filled experience for them, but a time of deep emotional wounding. We pray today for all our brothers and sisters of the Teo community, past and present, for our friends, for those who support us, for those who've been kind to us, especially dear brother Paul, and we pray for Paul, and we thank God for the many gifts that this wonderful man has shared with us. We pray for the members of the Order of, Interf uh, the Order of Franciscan Hermits. We remember brother Bjorn and all his members. We pray for young brother Mark in Iran, uh, Iraq, and we pray today for those who are hurting in mind, in body and spirit. We pray for all our religious leaders, not forgetting our Holy Father, Pope Francis, who truly is an amazing man of God, who in the early hours of each morning goes with one or two priest friends to feed the homeless. We pray for His Holiness the Dalai Lama recovering from illness and we remember this morning Thich Nhan and Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth who is the reigning monarch of our country and who is head of the Church of England. We pray for Queen Elizabeth and all her family. This morning I want to remember those who will have been affected by the severe rains that we've had in the night. The rains were incessant from just gone 12.30 a.m. till 5 this morning. And I know we've been affected by it downstairs in uh, Brother Rob's apartment that's been flooded. But we pray for the farmers, for those whose livelihoods have been jeopardized because of the severe flooding here in the United Kingdom, especially in the north of England. And let us not forget our dear animals, God's little helpers. We pray for them. So let us now gather all our thoughts together as we pray the prayer that Jesus gave us. Our Father, Mother God, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our trespass as we forgive all those who have trespassed against us. Lead us not astray, but protect us from the forces of evil, negativity and despair. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And our closing prayer this fourth Sunday of Advent reads, Lord, at the angel's message, Mary the Immaculate Virgin became the temple of God and was filled with the light of the Holy Spirit. When she received your divine word, and now grant that after her example, we may humbly and steadfastly follow your will. We make our prayer through our Lord Jesus the Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. And that, my dear friends, brings us to the end of Sunday morning prayer. 
And let us now conclude with the Celtic blessing, the blessing of heaven, the blessing of earth, the blessing of sea and sky on those we love this day and on every human family, the gift of heaven, the gift of earth, the gift of sea and sky, the gifts of brother sun and sister moon, and the gifts of the animal kingdom be in your heart now and forevermore. Amen. And as I blow out this light, I blow the peace of God which transcends all understanding. And I ask the Holy Family of Nazareth to walk with you this day and those whom we have prayed for. Amen. So go in peace to love and to serve our God. Namaste. Shalom. Inshallah, Pax et Bonum, Om Shanti, Solo di Caritas, Salam Alaikum, Peace, and thank you for being here. Have a good day. Thank you.